guys, this is Alyssa with Bengal Cat Love, and this is Nikolai, he's one of my Bengal cats. And today I would like to talk about whether or not you should let your cat outside, specifically Bengal cats. This is something that I've given a lot of thought to over the past few days because my cats have been wanting to go outside very badly. Now if you know anything about Bengal cats, you know that they are very active and they require a lot of stimulation. One of my cats, Malik, he's probably the more dominant alpha cat. He requires even more attention than the other cat. So while I try to keep up with this and play with him constantly, I still find him wanting outside on a very frequent basis. The reason I've been thinking of this lately is because the other night we were painting the inside of our house and we left a window open about this much, just barely big enough for a cat to sneak out through. And the whole night, even the whole day, Malik was constantly meowing, running around from door to door, window to window, just wanting to be let outside so bad. So we left the door open for maybe five minutes and we didn't realize it. And then the house was pretty quiet for about an hour, an hour and a half. And then I realized, oh, Malik's missing. So I went outside hoping it wasn't true because he's never really been outside before like that. And I took his food around, I had his collar because he wasn't wearing it at the time. So I was shaking that because often he'll come when he hears the bell on it. And we didn't have much luck. It was really late at night, it was probably about 25 degrees and I was getting really worried that something had happened to him uh, because clearly he wasn't around the house. We'd look under the cars, under the deck and he was nowhere to be found. Finally, after about half an hour of calling his name and freezing, we found him a ways away in the neighbor's yard next to a shed. Once I finally saw him, he seemed very reluctant to coming towards me, and then I had to carry him a good ways back to the house, and I'm, luckily, and I'm lucky he didn't put up too much of a fight. So this got me really thinking, is it okay to let your cat outside, or my cats outside, especially Bengal cats? I don't think there's necessarily a right or a wrong answer, but everyone has somewhat different circumstances and there are definitely some things to think about, so I'd like to share some of those with you in hopes that it could help you make a decision on whether or not to let your cat outside. The first thing to talk about is I hear people do unfortunately steal Bengal cats, and any exotic cat for that matter. Bengal cats and hybrid cats can be very valuable and people know this so when they see them they tend to have sticky fingers and want to either keep it for themselves or even sell your cat. Or I've even heard of people holding Bengal cats at ransom. Right now I live in somewhat of a rural area and there are a lot of people around so this seems like something that could be a pretty real threat to my Bengals. So with that said, I don't see myself letting my Bengals out at this time. I'll try to deal with them and try to redirect their energy and attention as best I can. But I do have plans on moving somewhere even more remote, extremely rural, on many acres of property. So when that day comes, that might be something that I'll look into because I'm hoping that in an environment like that, cat thieves are few and far between. The second thing you'll need to think about are other cats. The property I'm on right now has at least four or five other cats on the property that I've seen, and that's just on the property. That doesn't include all the other cats in the neighborhood that the Bengals would likely come across on their adventures. Why is this a risk? Well, a couple reasons. One, cats can get in a lot of fights, and this can obviously be a huge risk to your cat, not to mention you might have really large vet bills. Two, with other cats comes risk of disease. And my Bengals, I don't know exactly which vaccinations they have, but they're fairly minimal as they are indoor cats. I'm not sure exactly how big of a deal this is that my cats are potentially under vaccinated, but it's definitely something that I would need to look into and you might need to look into as well if you're gonna bring your cat from an inside cat to an outside cat. The third thing you want to think about are roads. Right now, even though I live in somewhat of a rural environment, there are still a lot of roads that would be within my cat's walking distance. So I'm really not comfortable with this idea. The roads that are by my house, even though they're rural and some of them are even dirt, people do drive very fast on them and they're very windy. So this isn't a risk that I'm willing to take at the moment. I've also heard that while normal cats have a fairly large range that they'll roam, Bengals will travel even further. So I've heard of people knowing that they have a road somewhat nearby their house, but they never thought their Bengal would venture that far, and they do. So rural, rural or not, this is definitely something that you'll want to think about is your cat's access to roads and how far that they'll probably travel. The 
The fourth thing you'll need to think about are predators. There are probably fewer predators, aside from humans, in a more of a city environment, such as coyotes, but if you're out in a rural environment, this is a real risk. Coyotes, dogs, and probably all sorts of other things that are hunting your cat. Now, I like to think that cats are fairly agile and pretty quick and climb trees, and I've seen outdoor cats that live a really long time out in the country, and they don't get eaten by coyotes, but this is still something that you'll want to think about. So with all these risks to your cat being an outside cat, it seems like a no-brainer to keep them inside, right? This is what I thought too, and this is still the direction that I'm leaning. However, I've really been questioning it because my cat Malik, he'll get a taste of the outdoors and that's all he can focus on for days at a time. All he does is meow and whine and look out the window and I feel really, really bad. I do all that I can do to play with him and keep him entertained, but I also know that cats at heart really don't want to be locked up and they want their freedom. Some cats are very happy being indoor cats their entire lives, such as Nikolai, he's the one you saw earlier in the video. But Malik, I don't believe that's the case. So right now I'm not going to let him outside, but in the future when I live in a more rural environment with a lot of acreage on the property, this is probably something that I'll really think about. And there are happy mediums, some people are very happy leash training their cats and their cats enjoy it, but as soon as I put Malik on a leash, he is at the end of the leash and all he wants to do is be free. It doesn't matter if he has not yet explored the area that he's uh, close to or that he's restricted to, he wants to go further. So I realize that there's all these risks, but I also feel bad because, like I said, I know that I have somewhat of a wild animal and they want to explore and they don't want to be confined. So even though I don't like any of these risks, I still find myself thinking, should I let my cat outside? At a certain point, you have to think about the quality of the cat's life. And this is what I'm really struggling with right now. Even though, as a fur baby mommy, I want to keep my cats happy, healthy, and safe inside, I know that this isn't the best for all cats and some cats eventually will ultimately be happier outside despite the risks and you just have to hope for the best. So I'm not saying whether or not you should let your cat outside and I know a lot of people probably keep Bengal cats indoors at all costs. So this is really a personal decision that you'll have to make on your own, but hopefully you have a few new things that you can think about and this is my experience. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video when I get to the point where I can start introducing my cats to the outdoors to talk about the transition and maybe I'll end up changing my mind and maybe they'll want to be indoor cats after all. But this is just my experience. So like I said, whether or not you let your cat outside is a very personal decision. So thanks for watching this video, and if you'd like to hear other videos about cats and Bengal cats specifically, then feel free to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Thank you.